class veteran video game critic Michael does life. <laughs> oh, Michael. <laughs> Alrighty, folks at home, we're here, we're back with Ask Creed Emerge Day 2. This will be the final day of our coverage for this game, as it is complete total dog shit. So if you are able to catch us live, that is utterly fantastic, because this is the last time we are more than likely playing this game, Ask Creed Emerge. For the folks that came last night... Um, you got initial impressions, and we will be we will be, we will be jumping back into Ask Creed Merge more tonight, and then we will be jumping into the RoboCop demo that released last night out of nowhere. So we'll see if that's any good. Glad they put out a demo for that. That means we don't have to buy the game. So if there's any publishers watching, don't put out demos because uh, if you have a demo released, um, quite frankly, I'm not buying the game. <clears throat> so we will be jumping back into Ask Creed Murridge. I'm going to set a one one hour timer for Ask Creed Murridge, and then we will be um, jumping back into um, well, jumping back in, jumping into rather for the very first time RoboCop to see if that's any good. Probably not. I have yet to play one good game this year. Um, you can you know call me a doomer, boomer, jaded, whatever. Um, but I have yet to play one good game this year, quite frankly. Well, that's released this year anyway. I can't name one game that came out in 2023 that was actually worth my time. Uh, but contrarians in here love to disagree with me, even though the general consensus for this game especially isn't that really fantastic. But there's a lot of shills out there that got a free copy of this game, and they're shilling it. So, you know, it's just one of those things. So we got to get this chat up in here. You guys have low dead energy in here, and today's stream is going to be tough, I can tell already. So let's go ahead and get a one in the chat. If you are alive and awake, okay? There's no need to be dead in here. Okay, it's not on slow mode. Let's move the chat. You guys can say stuff all day and all night, believe me, I know. Okay, one of the chat, let's get it moving in here. Before we get started, we're going to be jumping back into Ask Creed Merge for about an hour, and then we'll see from there, and then we'll be jumping into the Ask Creed uh, RoboCop game. Okay, so we'll be jumping into that demo that just released on the PC. Now, I've never seen RoboCop. I have no idea what it is outside of, like, some robot cop or something. I don't fucking know. It's like some cheesy 80 movies. But with that said, that is the plan for tonight. So we'll be jumping into Ask Creed Merge for another hour. And this will likely be the final time that we play Ask Creed Merge. So we'll be jumping into Ask Creed Merge for one hour and then jumping over to RoboCop Demo. And that'll probably do it. But last night we played uh, this game, Ask Creed Merge. 
and it was terrible. Okay, four out of ten. I think that's what I said last night. So we'll see. We'll play a few more missions. You know, like I said, we're going to set a timer for this one here. Ask Creed Marriage. We're going to give it another hour, and we're going to see from there if it expands or if it just is more of the same old slob. Ask Creed One is a better game. Um, any other Ask Creed game is better than this. I mean, this is literally a mobile experience. And a uh, cut and paste from Valhalla, which if you guys like Valhalla in here, I don't I don't know why you're subscribed to a channel like this. You guys got trash taste. Um, I didn't even play Valhalla. You know, that's how bad it was. I played Odyssey, and that's all I needed to know. Google gave me that game for free. Uh, I tested out Project um, Stadia. I was the uh, beta tester for Project Stadia or whatever the fuck, and they said, hey, here's a free copy of, 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 of Ask Creed Odyssey. Yeah, and that game is total garbage. Ask Creed Odyssey is total garbage. And I just played Origins like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, whenever it was. That was trash as well. The only good Ask Creed games are the one, the first is the first one and the one that came out in 2014 or 15, which was uh, Unity, rather. So those are the only two good Ask Creed games. If you disagree, you're a boomer with nostalgia. It's over! And let's get a big dub for Big Boss. Big Boss is coming through like a champ here. That's what we're talking about. Pop of the cherry in a way that makes 6, sense. 6,568 super shattered five pounds. Forget about these games. Real gamers still play Connect well, the, the Xbox 360. Saddest it's ever been. Saddest it's ever been. Guitar. World class. Well, I mean, yeah, I... I <laughs> There is one interesting Kinect game. I never played the Kinect games, really, to be honest, uh, outside of maybe like one of the demos or something. But um, um, there's there's a there's a really unique horror game on the Xbox One. I forgot what it's called. Uh, Rise of Nightmares. This is what it's called right here. I never played this. I always wanted to play it. It's a Kinect game for the Xbox 360. Who's it? It's made by Sega, developed and published by Sega. Uh, Xbox 360 Connect Rise of Nightmares. Uh, that looked sort of interesting, but I don't know if it's any, if it's worth anything, uh, worth 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 playing at all in 2023. But nonetheless, I don't have the technology to do that. I got the Xbox One Connect, and you can't you can't plug that into the Series X, and I don't have an X. The only other console I have it that's Xbox is 360. That was when Xbox was actually on top. And then they fell off with Xbox One, and they've never recovered since. So, you know, it was a one-and-done kind of thing with Xbox. It was like, hey, Xbox 360 is the peak, the rise of popularity, Call of Duty. Everyone's playing Call of Duty on this platform here. They're not playing it on PS3. And then the PS3 kind of takes over later in the generation because they have these woke movie games that everyone seems to bond with. Why? Joel's a loser. Those games were never good. I hated that game when it came out, you know? Just because I didn't make videos back then. I mean, I made videos back then, but I didn't necessarily cover every even known to man. Um, but um, I would have said the same thing back in 2013, uh, 14, 15. Those games were trash. Last of Us is trash. It was never good. You roam around and move ladders, and, and you got these stupid characters that no one cares about. Like, okay, it's a hobo that's homeless, and he's trying to survive the apocalypse. I don't care. You know, it's just ridiculous. Like, at least Spider-Man has the built-in, like, care. Okay, you know, it's Spider-Man. If you don't care about Spider-Man, then obviously you wouldn't buy the game to begin with. But, like, you know, Spider-Man's already established. Spider-Man's already a household name. It's fucking Stan Lee. Right? So, you know, they don't they don't have to get you to care about those characters because you already care about those characters. So, I don't know. The Last of Us is overrated slop. It's always been overrated slop. Red Dead's overrated slop. Um, uh, the last good GTA game was San Andreas. Um, what other hot takes do we have? I mean, I can go on and on. Um, this generation has been a complete, total shit show. There hasn't been any good games that have released this generation since 2020. These new consoles, PS5 and Series X and S. No good games at all, not one. Um, exclusive to these consoles anyway. And um, uh, early PS3 days was uh, Kino and Comfy. Okay, the early uh, PS3 era. Most people don't remember it because they didn't buy a PS3 then. But we're talking 2000 and... When did the PS3 come out? 2006, 7? I don't remember. 2006, 2007, the early PS3 era. Uh, the famous Asylum coming through with the 10. The only ass I want to see is Panam. Well, then go play Cyberpunk. 
guys, you got to click the like button and you got to share the stream because this is what happens. We weren't going to go live tonight, and I figured, well, it's probably best we don't go live because you guys can't handle the content, quite evidently. And with that said, um, well, nonetheless, we're back here with Assassin's Creed tonight. Okay, we're back with Assassin's Creed tonight. We're going to be getting started. We're going to put a one hour timer on that slot. And then we got to move on to the RoboCop demo because that's like apparently three hours long. So that's the whole fucking game. They shouldn't have released a demo for um, RoboCop because there's no reason to buy the game now. But hey, you know, if you're down bad and you need people to talk about your game, I guess a little slice can't hurt. The, no, the, 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 the last good, the last great, the last great GTA game was San Andreas. And, and, and it's because. It, it, it was the total package, okay? It was the total package. I'm not going to argue about it in here because we have low IQ viewers, okay? But it was the total package. Yeah, do you need me to explain it further? Because I, I, I could attempt. But I'm, I'm just going to, I mean, it's, just, it's blatantly obvious. I mean, it, San Andreas is the, was the last good GTA game. And it's not nostalgia. It's just the functionality, the gameplay features. You have a lot of meat on that bone. You don't have as much meat on that bone with GTA 4. GTA 4 took uh, the story serious. It took the mood, the vibe, the uh, atmosphere of Liberty City, the HD era. Um, yeah, it has you know improved uh, drastically in, in, in an incredible physics system. But basically, that's it. So, uh, you know, everything else was sacrificed for my graphics and my physics. Okay. I, I don't see that as being better. Oh, you want to go bowling with Nico? Okay, well, pff, that's all you can do. Go bowling with Nico. Okay, what about like, hey, you know, you go on the Empire State Building, you know, in Liberty City, whatever it's called. They don't have parachutes in that game. You know, it's just like the amount of content that was, there's no, there's not even, in GTA 4, there's not even tanks. I'm done. I'm not, I'm not even going to discuss it, bro. I'm not going to discuss it. I don't care if you guys have fond memory. I, I bought GTA 4 day one when it came out on Xbox 360, so don't, so don't, get, don't get me started on that. But, you, you know, if you can't see what was pulled back, if, you know, they, 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 they've, they've compromised a lot because, you know, my graphics and, and you know, the HD and, and, and the, the Euphoria uh, mo natural motion engine or whatever the fuck. That, that's what was, that's, and, and then 5 is worse than 4 in a lot of aspects, and it just keeps getting worse and worse. So now... You know, here we are, 10 years removed from GTA 5, and this is the month. If they're going to tease it, it's this month, later this, later this month, in a few weeks. And you just can't help but wonder, um, uh, you know, are they going to really make, it, make a comeback with this franchise? Because it's been dead since San Andreas, and it has nothing to do with nostalgia. Literally, it's an objective it's fact. It's over! It's an objective fact. San Andreas has more things to do in the game. Nightwing Super Chatted $4.99. Omakal only gutty contenders this year are Baldur's Gate and Soda Drinker Pro. Cyberpunk is still bad. I bought after 2.0 and got bored in an hour. Yeah, I, well, yeah, I mean, it's just. <sighs> Nightwing coming through. That's what we're talking about. Hell yeah, by the way, appreciate that. Um, Gary from the Vault it's coming over. through here. I don't know why these are not um, playing out in a way that makes sense. A binary super chatted four dollars. That's what we're talking about. Cents. Epiphany coming through. Excited you went live tonight, Mackle. You are funny. Well, we've already played this. There's nothing more that that that, that we really need to see from Ask Creed Marriage, but we'll play it for one more hour. And you know, we have the Robocop demo, so we'll see if that's any good. It's probably gonna be trash. I've never seen those movies, so I don't know what it even really is. Outside of a giant robot like it's he's over. like the Terminator or something, I don't know. Merkenium Super Chatted $5. Mackle GTA 6 map is rumored to be bigger than all previous Rockstar games combined. Okay, but quantity, it, you know, <laughs> we, don't, we don't need a pointlessly big map. See, this is a problem. I mean, I, I can pull the Microsoft Paint up right now and show these developers how to make a great open world game. There's, there, you have to find a balance. And with a lot of these trash-ass games, they just don't care. So, um, you know, I... <laughs> Look, if 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 November rolls around and there's still no GTA 6 tease, I just I'm just gonna stop caring about it for now because there's no point, right? If if you know, look, if they tease it later this month around the 26th, 27th, uh, then we'll get really excited because you know Rockstar confirms it, Rockstar acknowledges it, Rockstar says, hey, it's coming, hold your horses, boom, boom, boom. 
Okay, but look, if November 1st rolls around and there's still no official confirmation of GTA 6, I'm going to stop caring about it because there's just no point and it's way off uh, more so than we think. So, you know, look, the, the, the last good GTA game was San Andreas. That's what you need to know and understand, okay? In that game, if you see it, you can do it, pretty much. I mean, obviously, there, there are limitations, and there are certain things that you can do in, cho- in GTA 4 that you couldn't do in San Andreas. But if, if you look at both games, they're totally different games, and GTA 4 was a massive step back um, in a lot of areas, okay? And especially in the gameplay department, and especially in, more specifically, just kind of the activities that you can do within the world and the mini games and things of that nature. In San Andreas, if you see a basketball, you can pick up the basketball and play basketball. Uh, in, in San Andreas, I mean, you know, like I said, the mentality is sort of like, hey, if you see it, you can participate with it, sort of. Not all the time, but, um, you know, so much content was cut. And I get it. It's, a, it's Liberty City. It's not, you know... It's a different vibe. It's a different move. It's a different atmosphere. But um, what did they replace it with? Barely anything. Great graphics, cool atmosphere, setting theme, um, euphoria, natural engine, physics. Okay, well that's you know, that's fine and dandy, I suppose. But ultimately, at the end of the day, um, you had less to do in the world. So it's like okay, it's you know cooler to look at. And there's you know you you can't even drive the train in GTA Four. You you. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. Like when, and that's the thing too. It's like, okay, not only can you drive the train in San Andreas, but you, there's like literally missions for the train. There, there, there's literally missions for the train. You know, and, and, and that's what takes it to the next level. It's like, okay, not only can you interact with it, but we also have something right here for you as well. And they don't even have that in Red Dead 2. When you get on the train in Red Dead 2, uh, I'm glad they put that back in because in Red Dead 1, you couldn't get on the train um, I mean, you could get on the train, but you couldn't drive the train. And in Red Dead 2, you can drive the train, and you can do all this, that, and the third. But there's no missions tethered to it. It's not like you can actually just, like, play fucking conductor or whatever engineer and, you know, take the steam engine to this train station. There's no missions. So it's just like, okay, well, I mean, at least you could, you know, the interactivity is there, but there's no mission tethered to it. There's no mini game tethered to it. There's no activity tethered to it. Again, in San Andreas, there's, like, you fucking lowrider mini games. I mean, it just goes on and on and on uh, in terms of the things that you can do in San Andreas. And then on top of that, you have the light RPG elements. San Andreas was the pinnacle of Rockstar Games. After that, they fell off pretty hard. I'm not saying GTA 4 is trash, but um, the only way to get excited about GTA 6 is if they look at the philosophy of GTA uh, San Andreas and, 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 and take that mentality and move it forward in a way that makes sense. I mean, even Bully, you could do more in Bully than you can in Red Dead 2. I'm done with these games where it's just like eliminate things that move on the screen. Gamers are so conditioned to that slob, like, oh, yeah, there's, there's, there's some enemies roaming around throughout the screen. Let, let, let's... You know, it's ridiculous. But I'm preaching to no one here, so... It, people are going to consume anyway, you know. Whether it be in spite of me or whatever the case may very well be, um, they're going to consume. So, you do you. You consume the slop, you have your fun with it. Uh, I am envious of the uh, of the uh, sort of easily amused position that you, you um, currently in, um, possess. But, um, geez... As a jaded boomer gamer, um, I this industry has nothing left for me to off. To I, I would rather review movies, literally, and and you know most of the movies that come out are total trash. But you know they're only two hours, three hours long. You play these games for six hours. You've, you know you there's no reason to play it for that long. You, you play these games for about thirty minutes, and you've seen the whole game pretty much. The core game play loop has already been exposed to the player within the first thirty minutes, outside of a stupid skill tree where it's like, hey, unlock more abilities, and it's like, well, it doesn't really change anything. We've seen the whole core gameplay loop. You know, it's no different than Pac-Man from 1974. You know, whenever that game came out, right? It's no different than Pac-Man from the 70s. You basically roam around the map through the maze and you eat the uh, monsters. Okay, well, how, how has gaming evolved? It really hasn't. It's, it's stuck in that mentality from 40, 50 years ago. So I would say that the industry is a total disaster. So... Uh, I'm not saying there's not great games out there, but you really have to start. You got to dig deep, and um, you have to dig for what you want to look, for, what you want to find, and um, you know what, what. It's like going to a record shop. It's like, well, maybe modern music is trash, or whatever the case may be. But it's like, well, you go to the record shop. I mean, you start digging around, you'll find something fucking that you've never heard before, guaranteed. 
You know what I mean? So, I don't know. People in here have a weird take, though, on everything. It's just like contrarian central in here, and it's like, take that shit right back to 4channel, bro. Okay? You know, I was on, I was in someone else's stream earlier, and it's just like, well, they all agree with the guy. It's like, wow, that, that would be amazing. Over here, they play contrarian. Even though they know I'm right, they're like, oh, you're, like, you really want to defend Ask Creed Marinch? Okay, buddy. Go ahead. Defend it. I don't care. But, you know, we got some weird people in here, I'll tell you that, who like to play contrarian. Like, modern gaming is actually good because you said it was trash. Okay, buddy. I thought that was the popular opinion, that modern gaming was trash. Apparently it's not. Apparently modern gaming is the best it's ever been. And we have this weird contingency of just talking about everything else. Like, what I'm saying doesn't matter. Um, you know, we're talking about banning people in here. It's like, oh, just go fuck yourself. I'll turn the chat off. Like, I'm not here to put up with that bullshit. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do a total show where we don't do anything. We'll just stare at a wall. I don't care. You know, if you guys don't want to discuss video games, then that's fine with me. Just because you don't understand, like, my level of thinking when it comes to software it doesn't mean that you're right. No one's right or wrong here. It's a matter of taste. Okay? It's a matter of taste. If you don't like my gameplay, then uh, I would advise you... There's better ways you can spend your time. And by that, I mean go find a different channel to watch. But you can't. You can't pull yourself away. So, um, you know, you don't like the way I dissect the games? I don't care. Name one other show that's going to give you this dissection. They're not going to do it. Because no one else plays games like I do. <laughs> And there's no wrong way to play these games because if that were the case, the game would tell me. There would be a big sign up front that says, hey, you know, maybe you should go to the mission or something. And typically they don't tell you to do that. So it's an open world game, you know. You can play these how you want. But uh, people want to get weird, so you do you. <clears throat> All right, we're going to be getting started here shortly. Please hit the like button if you can. This is going to be a shorter stream tonight because the energy is not matching up here tonight. And I figured that. That's why we don't stream as much, because you guys cannot handle it. I would stream 24-7 if we could handle it, but we can't, so we have to um, kind of dial things back here. The audience is very needy, and they are very vocal on what they need and what they like and what they don't like and things of that nature. So with that said, we have to do our best to be a slave to you, the consumer. Nonetheless, we're going to be jumping into Ask Creed Merge here. Let's set the timer for this game because we're going to be jumping into Robo Slop. So let's get a one-hour timer on this. If that's maybe that's actually too much, I'm going to say 35 minutes on this. 35-minute timer here on Ask Creed because the RoboCop demo is like five hours long. So, all right, we put a timer up on this Ask Creed Merge. 35 minutes. Let's see where this game takes us within that time frame. Let's see where this game takes us in 35 minutes. Let's see where this game takes us in 35 minutes. This loading's ridiculous. Holy shit. We're going to go right to the main mission. We're going to go right to the main mission. We're going right to the main mission. We got 35 minutes with us. Can it compel us within 35 minutes? Let's see. We got 35 minutes with Askreed here. Just give it all cutscenes. What did John Carmack say about story in games? Go look it up. He's right. Type it in, John Carmack. If you don't know who that is, maybe you shouldn't be watching the show. Because you're a fake gamer. Type it in, John Carmack's story in video games. It should pop up. It's based. <coughs> Habrui Burrow. Nope, don't got time. Be careful. Nope. Albini Muhammad. What do we do? 
Click this, click that. Don't care. Skip. Cool. Okay, let's get this guy. Beshi. Boom. This is the worst game I've ever played in my life. How did Dreamcast guy give this a 9 out of 10? Uh, I'll tell you why. They sent him a free code. I mean, if they sent me a free code, I would have said it was a 9 out of 10 too. It's not that hard. Just start communicating with me and I'll... I can be ex an extension of the PR team. I can sell it like everyone else. It'd be stupid not to. Contact the rebels. What does that mean? <sighs> what are we doing? What are we doing? I'm going to Ask Creed Unity. This is the worst game I've ever played. I don't play these modern Ask Creed games. They're absolute trash. Absolute dog shit. All of them. The last good one was Unity. Even Syndicate has downgrades. If you can't, if you can't figure it out, then you don't get it. Okay. Odyssey was trash. Origins was trash. You can't name one good last Ask Creed game in the last eight years, seven years. It doesn't exist. They're all garbage. We just played Unity like three months ago. This is this is abysmal, bro. This is abysmal. Well, I can't do the missions. I don't know. I, I'm done. I'm, I'm not trying to search for a fucking key or something. This game's trash. Like, absolute dog shit. If you like this game, you got... I mean, I... This is garbage. I've already played this game. There's a better version of this game that exists. It came out in 2007. And they said they took this back to the roots. Why do they have the Drone Eagle? That's not in Ask Creed 1. There was no Drone Eagle. Taking it back to the roots, by the way. Great tagline. That's not true. Just because there's similarities to the structure doesn't necessarily mean it's back to the roots. There's like zero interiors in this. The mark of the rebellion. This game is absolute trash. Let's go to this guy. I don't know, dude. The game is total dog shit. Contact with this merchant. You can't do anything. It's fifty dollar slob. It's fifty dollar slob, and, and you guys would all agree if Chromecat made a video, you'd be the fucking taking that opinion and taking it to one eighty. Like, oh yeah, I liked it. Then it was trash. You know, just like you did for every other game. And I wish Chromecat would have made a video on Starfield, but that's kind of a normie thing to make. So I think he'll pick a more obscure title. Which is a lot more Kino anyway. Starfield doesn't deserve more attention. It's trash. It's not the same Bethesda as it once was. They got a bunch of new programmers in there clearly. and Same with this too. Like there, There's no... I mean you could tell the lack of experience here. They don't know how to program video games anymore. We need to make that sexy again. I'm, I'm done. Digital Foundry's ruined the industry. Quite frankly I think they've... Uh, tarnish the industry. Now these publishers chase graphics, fidelity, ray tracing. All of this crap that doesn't even matter. What happened to programming? What happened to the AI? What happened to the physics? What happened to this? What happened to that? The attention to detail is just not there. I, I mean, this is absolute it's garbage. Over. It's li it's literally a mobile game. That's not an exaggeration. It is coming to the iPhone next year. M zero, it it's literally a mobile zero, game. Like You're getting zero, this on your phone. Story in a game is like a story in a PR zero N movie. Uh, exactly. It's expected to be there, but it's not that important. That's that's the John that's the John Carmack. This has no story. Clinking beer mugs. 
clinking yep. beer mugs. That's clinking the John Carmack quote. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. Pretty sure that's what he said. Yeah. The only exceptions are if you're going to do a story in a video game, you got to do it really well. And I mean really well. There's no need for a story in a game. You're dead! Okay, first of all, uh, it's a, it's a, what is that? What fabric is that? It's not cement. This isn't cement. So let me ask you this, with that logic in mind, how do we get on this? Okay, how do you get on this? Okay, it's not cement, clearly. Th th this is a cloth. Yet when I walk on it, there's no deformation whatsoever. Like, it doesn't sink in, even a tad bit. I don't care if it's fake. You have to sell the immersion. Look at this. There's holes in it, bro. You can see through it. This is... I'm not walking on cement, buddy. God, if I were at Ubisoft and I played this, I'd say just can't... Look, just start from scratch. The whole game's trash. Look at this. It's pure cement. Nothing. It's it's an insult to my intelligence. But that doesn't matter. But the horse testicles in Red Dead Redemption 2, they shrink in the cold weather. I'd be sure to like that video. The details don't matter, but then they do matter, Michael, because I'm a hypocrite. We're literally staring at a door. This is the level of immersion we're talking about. Literally, I can make a better game than this. The lawbreaker! Guard! Guard! He's here! We're going to have to help Ubisoft right here in real time. Here we go. We're going to have to help Ubisoft here in real time. We're gonna have to help Ubisoft here make a better game. Okay, this is how you. Let me just. Let me just. Free advice for Ubisoft here. Right here. Great. 
open world game design. There's two ways to do this. Okay. Center it, underline, boom. Look at my GDC. Never made a game before, but that's why I know what I'm talking about. Because I'm not jaded. Great open world game design. Okay. So, devs, listen up. Here we go. There's two ways to make a great open world. Okay. <laughs> it's not that hard. Okay. It's not that hard. I need bold on this. Boom. Great open world game design. This is how you do it, folks. There's two ways. There's two ways to go. There's three ways to go about this. Okay. I need you guys to listen up in here. Okay. Hit the like button. Let's share it out. Okay. I know they're shielding this on four channel day in and day out, but the reality of the situation is as clear as day. This game's slop. Okay. Total garbage. That's why we're moving on RoboCop demo, and we're going to see if that's any good. Probably not. That's why they had to put out a free demo. If your game's trash, you put out a free demo. I mean, that's just the reality of it. There's three ways to make a great open world. Let me think how to word this. Okay. There's three ways to make to make a. It's it's not hard. Okay. There's three ways you can go about making a great open world. Great open world game design right here. Okay. I'm done. Great open world game design. Okay. There's three ways to do this. First option. Sell, <clears throat> well, this font is absolute trash. Here we go. So the, belie how do you spell believe, how do you, how do you, believability of open world, okay? So the believability of the open world. I'm not trolling either, okay? I don't care if you guys disagree. You guys don't know what you're talking about. You guys are literally consumers. I'm not a consumer. I'm a creator, okay? I know what I'm talking about. It's going to be hard to word this, but you're just going to have to bear with me here, okay? I, I know how to make a great game, but it's hard to put it into words, okay? Uh, the first thing you can do is you can go down the sell the believability of the open world approach. Now, there are drawbacks to this approach, okay? Or... Full system attic. I don't know if that's a fucking word. It's Full over. systematic simulation. Okay. Christian Ramirez Here we go. Shatted four dollars and ninety nine cents. Still better than Slotfield, but Baldur's Gate Three is still the game of the year for 2023. The reality of the situation continues to unfold. BG Three clears. Right here. These are the three ways. The, the third and last is to combine both. Most people can't do that. If that makes any sense. Are we, are we following along or are we already lost? Here's what you need to understand right here. Great open world game design. First one is to sell the believability of the open world. Okay, how do you do that? Well, we can get into details. Okay, if you guys are really interested. Okay, the second thing is a full systematic simulation. Okay, I don't even know if that's fucking work. But a, a, a full simulation uh, approach. Okay. And the last one is to... And most, most devs can't do this. Okay, they can barely do any of these. Um, is to combine both for the ultimate game. Okay. Th th this, is, this is it. it. It's really that simple. This is all you need to understand to make a great open world game. It's not hard. Okay? You're going to have to pick which one you want. Okay? There's drawbacks to both. You can't have both, pretty much. That's why they don't do both. But in the future, if they can combine both, that would be fantastic. So this, this, is, this is the dilemma that we're currently facing. Uh, well, first of all, these, de these modern devs can't really pick and choose because they don't know what they're doing anyway. Uh, they make movie games and they hire actors and actresses on Instagram. And, you know, uh, you know, they have pretty faces on the front of the box and people buy and consume. Okay, it's just a mass consumption uh, entertainment uh, it, it's not about making games anymore. It's about um, selling nonsense. 
selling the brand, selling Ass Creed, selling Battlefield. It's not about selling the actual game. It's about selling the brand. That's all it is. So let's get into more detail here. Not that you guys care, but I do. Okay. Let's just eliminate the third option because that's just pointless right now. So there's two options, really, basically. Realistically, there's two options here, okay? There, there are three options, but realistically, there's two options. And maybe these could be worded better, but nonetheless, this is how it ultimately uh, unfolds here, okay? So if we go in here like this. So <clears throat> if, if I were making an open world game, this is what we're going to have to settle with, okay? It's not hard. This is what we're going to have to settle with right here. Which one do I want to choose? Do I want to sell the believability of the open world, or do I want a full system approach? Full simulation approach. What do I want? That, that's what we're going to have to decide before we make the game. What is our budget? The talent of the team? What is feasible? What is doable? So on and so forth, okay? For, okay, so with that said, how do we sell the believability of the open world, Okay. Well, you have to start looking at the great open world games, and there's not many. I, ca I can probably name less than five that really sell the believability of the open world. But there is a game that comes to mind, and it's Watch Dogs 2. And yes, it's from Ubisoft. The same uh, studio, well, not the exact, not the same studio, but, you know, Ubisoft, they made this, and they also made Watch Dogs 2, a bunch of other Asker games. And the old, the old games are better. The, 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 the reality is that you've already played the best games that I've ever released. They're, they're not going to make great games ever again. So, we cannot make gaming great again. It's literally impossible, if that makes any sense. You've already played the best games. It's over. You don't need to buy a new heart. You don't need to buy new games. You don't need to buy new hardware. You don't need to subscribe to new services. It's over. Gaming is dead. Yes. In the sense that they're actual video games. They're not actual video games anymore. They're interactive movies. You press a few buttons and that's it's it. It's over! <laughs> Z Cowboy Coyote Super Shatted for Who the fuck's this? 99 cents. Look at Red Dead Redemption 2. That was a perfect example of an open world game done right. Disagree. <laughs> Disagree. Nope. Because guess what they did? They picked one of these options. It's they didn't over. combine both. They wanted to do so bad, but they didn't. I may fucking devil super chatted four dollars and ninety nine cents. Mirage has the worst objective and map traversal in any game I've played. It feels broken, and using the bird doesn't seem like it helps me find my way. Well, they said this was back to the roots, and why is there a bird in this game? Back to the roots, by the way, yet we're using the same um, assets from Asker Bahawa. Because that's what this is. It's basically just an expansion, all shined up to, you know, you know, you know it's just ridiculous. Corner super shattered $5. It's time to start playing McCluskey again. The hell with bad intentions. Yeah. So, how do you sell the believability of the open world? Well, you know, you look at a, you look at Watch Dogs too. Okay, that's the most immersive open world I've ever walked through. I'm not even trolling. Name one game that's close to that. Nope, GTA 4 is not. GTA 5 is not. Guys, you have to understand that GTA has never been really that detailed. Uh, I, 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 that's a hot take. I don't care. M zero M zero M super shattered five dollars. There was a senior Obsidian dev talking about AI programming during Outer Worlds. The new coders requested one month to make code that should take one hour. Crying face. We, 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 we need... Um, <sighs> yep. We gotta start praising the engineers. Okay, the, the open world in GTA 5 is trash. The open world in GTA 4 is trash because they don't do any of these at all. A GTA has never had a good open world. Red Dead 2 is more advanced than any GTA game. And that's why we need GTA 6. 
But, you know, if, if you're making an open world game, this is, this is basically what it comes down to, in my opinion, okay? I don't have any experience making games outside of dreams. But it doesn't matter, because everyone starts somewhere. At the end of the day, this is what it basically boils down to. Most people cannot implement both, okay? Very few games have ever done that. So, what do you want to do? Pick what you want. Sell the believability of the open world to the end user, or do you want a full simulation approach to the end user? You can't have both. You can, but not right. I mean, it's just almost impossible. So you're just going to have to choose what you want to do. Okay? Sell the believability of the open world. How do you do that? How do you sell the believability of the open world? You need to make it feel lived in. Okay? It's, it's not that hard. Make it feel <coughs> lived in. That's it. Make it feel lived in. Okay? Not hard. And, and if I have to explain that, then you don't know what you don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, it, it, it's a simple philosophy here, folks. You got to make it feel lived in. How do you do that? It's common sense. Go to a city and look. Go to a, go to a city in real life and observe. That's what I would tell my devs. Okay, how do you know if they came out to me and they said, "Hey, Michael, how do we make this open world feel lived in?" Step outside, observe. It's not hard. It's not hard. It's it's not hard. Okay. Full simulation approach. How do you tackle that? How do you tackle the full simulation approach? Where are my bullet points? <laughs> full simulation approach. NPCs on dynamic schedules. In-game clock. Um, hold on. Events tethered to in-game time. Clock, etc. Okay, not hard. Right here. This is how you make a great game. That's it. Now you have to pick and choose one. You can't have both. It's nearly impossible unless you have unlimited talent and budget. This is it right here. This is it right here. And I'm going to do a poll here in a minute. What do you want in your open world game? If you could only have one, what do you want? What do you want in the open world game? What, do you, what, 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 what are you looking for in an open world game? You can't have both. Because if you try and do both, it ain't going to work. Okay, there's just no way. Now they've tried to do it. They've tried to... They have to blah, blah, blah. We're doing a poll. We're going to the poll. I don't care. You you think it's funny? I'll ban you. Okay? You have no idea what you're talking... You're literally a consumer. You go to the grocery store and buy lettuce for five bucks a head. Okay? You, could, you, could, you can plant a seed in the ground for free. Why are you going to the grocery store? Because you love getting fucked in the ass. Why are you going to the Italian restaurant and paying $25 for spaghetti when you can make it for $5 at home? Grow a garden. Don't go to the grocery store. You imbecile. Mr. You are literally a slave. The problem with full simulation games is they often rely too much on the make your own fun philosophy like Breath of the Wild and MG's 5. Don't bring up slob like that. Hold on, let me see what you said. The problem with full simulation games is they often rely too much to make the world fun. No, 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 we're not talking... Here's what I need if, if, if I... Okay. This, this, this is this is my GDC uh, conference here. I'm not a game dev, but I'm a fake game dev. Here we go. I'm a consumer that turned game dev. I, what you need to do in the game, okay? If if the player's not entertained, okay. Let me let me just finish it this way. You need to be able to observe without even moving. Okay, things are happening. Things are actually happening. I was barely playing it. You... I don't know how to explain this. I don't know how to explain this in a way that makes sense. You, 
you ha you have to think what if the player doesn't really play the game if that makes any sense what what if the player is um, not really playing the game can we still have dynamic events can we still have dynamic elements things of that nature okay there's a lot more to this but we're, we're trying to make it very simple for everyone to understand in here okay this is it I could go further but you guys can't handle it already okay great open world game design you have to pick and choose what you want okay if I were at Rockstar what I would do is I would pick the first one because trying to tackle both in the same game is it's, it's, it's ridiculous CEO of Chairbucks super chatted five dollars. Okay. Play Shenmue and compare it to these new slop NPCs. <laughs> grapes, ghost, grapes. Yeah. Ghost, okay, grapes, but 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 grapes, but but here 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 here's the problem with these games that have the NPCs on schedules. They don't sell the believability of the open world. Look look, look at Red Dead Redemption Two. A lot of the NPCs are on schedules. They they have destination points. I don't know if, you know, but. They're not doing anything in that game. They're literally just standing around. They're not selling the believability of the open world. It's that simple. They're not. So you have to pick and choose what you want. What is going to be more impressive to the player? Look at Watch Dogs 2. None of the NPCs are on schedules in Watch Dogs 2. Okay? If you stand there, they will never move. Okay? It's set in stone. But on the flip side, they have sold the believability. Now, in an ideal world, yes, it would be fantastic if we could mend them together. Sell the believability and have the NPCs on schedules. The ultimate simulation fantasy, the op ultimate open world experience. Sure, that isn't going to happen though. So the easier route, in my opinion, less probably programming as well. Because you don't have to do too much. When they're not on full schedules, you know, I'm assuming the programming's way less. So what you do... I, I'm opening up Ask Credit Unity. I'm done. I'm done. Do I still have it out here? I'm done. I'm opening up Ask Credit Unity. I gotta start sh showing my points. <gasps> Watch this here. Where's Ask Credit Unity? <sighs> I really hope I didn't delete it. Ubisoft Connect. Oh lord, we gotta log in. Oh lord. It's literally installing viruses. Yes! I'm going to open up Astrid... Astrid Unity. If we can get logged in here. Okay, we're logged in. Games. Uh, I, I deleted Astrid... No, no, it's right here. Boom. Play. There we go. You, you, you want to see a game? Watch this. Look at this. Look at this right here. How dare these consumers sit around it? Oh. There we go. Game capture. I'm pulling it up. Here, let me get to a different spot here in this game. Okay, yeah, just reset me. Just reset me. We're pulling this up. I don't care if you think it's boring. I don't care. This is a. Th th I can't tell if it's working. This isn't full screen, folks. It's not working. We're having problems with. I don't know if there's an update to OBS or something. The game capture doesn't work anymore. I've had tons of problems with that. It's not picking up the game. I have no idea why. It's not picking up the game. It's over. I, I can't get it to pick it up. It's not picking up the game. Phrase cram super chatted five. <laughs> the world of the game needs to feel as though it exists independently of the player. It needs to feel like it functions by itself. Well, that would be option one then. Okay, it, it is picking it up. Give me a moment and I'll fix it. Give me a moment and I'll fix this slop here. There we go. There we go. 
Now, some contrarian is going to defend this and say, well, oh, Michael, this is a $50 game. You're comparing it to a game that had a bigger budget and a bigger team. No, 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 no. That's excuse. Excuse city. Look at this. Oh, my God. Look at this. Holy shit. Look at this! Well, I guess we broke the game here. I don't know what's going on. I can't just walk around now without getting attacked. Well, I guess we can't compare them. I mean, it's pretty obvious which one's better, but... And, and why, why, why is water bouncing on the camera lens? Is there a camera following the main character? Is that what that's implying? Why do they do that? Because that's a, that's, you're, you're looking at it through a camera lens is what this is essentially saying when, when that happens. That doesn't even logically make sense. You're breaking the fourth wall. Bro, this game is barren as hell. There's like five NPCs on the screen. Oh my god! Look at this right here. Look at this right here. People are sitting down. They're drinking their tea. Benjamin Franklin. I mean, dude. The whole game is crashing. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Oh, I think something's happening in the other game. Look at this. Dude, I'm done, bro. If you don't get it, you don't get it. That's okay. You don't have to agree just for the sake of agreeing. If you don't understand it, that's okay. Look at the amount of NPCs on this. This is a 2014 game, 2015 game.
Okay, so so what option did they choose here? They chose the first option. They make they, in Ascreed Unity. They chose the, obviously these NPCs are not on schedules. If you were to stand here, no one's going to ever leave. So they went with the first option essentially, and they said, "Let's sell the believability of France." How do you do that? Well, you make it feel lived in. That's basically how you do it. And, you know, they populated the area with a shitload of NPCs. The technology back then was apparently better than ever. Um, yet it's on primitive hardware compared to what we have now. Okay. We have more memory now than ever. Doesn't You don't, you don't need to be a game dev to understand those things. And so... so What, what did they pick with Ascreed Mirage? Nothing. The NPCs, from what I can tell, are not on schedules. I haven't fully tested that out, and I don't really give a shit. Because, first of all, they didn't make it feel lived in. They didn't sell the believability of the open world, the city, the what have you. You have NPCs that just basically do nothing. A at least in Unity, everyone looks busy. That's another thing, too. You're making an open world game, you need to make the NPCs look like they're fucking busy. Boom. That's an easy way to sell it. Look at this. Everyone's doing different shit. It's not hard to do. You walk around Ascreed Merge and there's a lot of just walking aimlessly. There's a few animations here and there. But there's a lot of just nothingness. See, people just stand around and stuff. I mean, th th this, is, this is a super low-budget game, bro. This is a super low-budget game. Okay. You can't do anything. You can't do anything. I want to I see something right here. This guy's chopping up wood. I got to see this. Look at that. Beautiful. Way better than that animation with the rug. Oh, this guy's over here chopping something. I mean, look, I could just play this game like this all day. There's so much to look at. He's sharpening up his, uh, his axe. Now, again, they don't have schedules. So, you know, Ubisoft basically picked the first option and said, let's, let's make this feel lived in. All the NPCs are busy with their own unique kind of animation sequences. But they're not on schedules. Again... You know, look at this. Everyone's got different animations, bro. Look at this. You know, they're making the NPCs feel busy. It makes it feel uh, like it's actually lived in. And they don't just rent. Look at this. <gasps> oh my god! There's no way you can read that. It's the Declaration of Independence. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this shit. Look at that, they react. It's over! Magic 3383 super shattered $5. Nearly a decade ago it was decided that video games must now be made by women and all of the diversity they could fit onto the dev team. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> It's over.
damn, you can fiddle your sword around. That's fucking crazy. I thought that was like a mod. How do you pull your sword out in this? They do a little reaction in here, but the problem with the game is that there's no NPCs in, the, in, in Baghdad. And they don't sell the, the believability of the NPCs. And that's one of the, the, the selling points of this game, an immersive reactive city. Okay, but you have to sell the believability as well. You can't have... Do we under look, look look how many NPCs are on the ass screen unit? I'm playing the game. Uh, guys, can you count how many NPCs are on that screen right there? Holy shit, that's at least probably like 150. Why is this game so empty? How do you get your sword out? Get out, dude. Of course, we don't have a sword. This game's trash. Show me the path ahead. Oh. What is wrong with hey, you Zim. today? Don't you remain hidden? For shame! Guard! Mole game. Yeah, the animation's better too. Look at this. Holy shit. Dude. Oh, there's no. Look at the animation. Smooth. Wow. Look at that, that's beautiful. Like the blending of animation. No, let's do that. Let's do that and ask Creed you, or ask Creed, uh, whatever the game's called, merge. Let's do this and ask Creed merge. That was the animation blending and let's see here. Because there's there's a similar. The whole game broke. Well, the animation's worse in this game. The climbing animation's worse. There's a similar structure in this game. I'm going to see where it's at. I don't think it's as tall, but... Where's this at? I've seen it. It's right there. Probably can't go inside. Ugh. Yeah, the, the, the animation's too snappy in this game. I doubt we can go inside.
The animation's too snappy. Yep, we can't even... We can't go inside. You gotta play the game. Unless we go this way. Okay, buddy. I, I don't think we can go up the wall. Looks like you can, but you can't. Yep. Trash. Oh, we go school this way. You got to do it a very specific way. It's one of those puzzle games. Well, let's go to the center here. Oh, this is so bad. There's like no NPCs at all. So how do you go backwards? I don't understand how you guys don't care about stuff like this when you, you literally consume these games. I wouldn't be buying these games if I didn't fucking cover them. Why would I? That doesn't make any sense. These games are trash. You guys are literally consumers. So why wouldn't you care about the quality of the game? That doesn't make sense. Oh, just shut up and eat your popcorn? That's the mentality always? Well, that's why this industry is in the shape that it's in. You just buy things because it's like, well, let's just buy something because we have nothing to play. Like, that's not the way to look at it. Maybe it is. Oh, we can't go in here, of course. Everything's locked. Yeah, they got spikes on the top. You're going to have to do the main story. Yep. That's the end game or something. Oh. Yeah, we can't go in here. Well, we tried. <gasps> look at that. That game. Let's go back to Unity one more time here. How do we jump down? Oh wow, even that's better. Dude. Look at how they have dynamic events. I'm not seeing any of that in Ask Creed. Uh, and they got interiors. Look at this shit. Ooh, this game's acting weird. Bro, they literally got interiors. What is this? So you can't, you can't attack?
Look at these animations. Like the blending is so fucking really solid. Like it just looks less snappy. I don't know how to describe it. He's reacting to like falling off the ledge. Look at this. Who the fuck is that? Bro, I found a, a unique NPC. Yeah, they made it feel lived in. I think we've, um... And they, did, they didn't make Ascreed, uh, Baghdad here feel lived in. At all. It's just like, we have NPCs on the screen that... Like, it, it doesn't feel lived in, so it's like, okay, they react a little, but... There's no immersion because it doesn't feel lived in. And it's not just because there's a lot of NPCs in Unity that does help, but they're, they're, they're assigned to contextual animations within the environment. It, it's nerd talk, I don't care. If you don't get it, whatever. Done. We should jump into RoboCop soon. Because I'm done with this. I've seen enough. I, I don't want to play this game ever again. It's literally an Xbox Live Arcade game. Should have been 20 bucks at launch. Free on Game Pass. Oh. Oh my god. Yeah, it... Oh! Oh! Yeah, they... They, 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 <laughs> they, got, an, they got an amateur uh, animation team on this. Like, this is... It's snapping. I'm done. It, 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 the animation blending's trash. It's, like, snapping, and... It's subtle, but... I'm not even trying to make it look bad. Like, there's no way to make it look bad. I'm just jumping around. That's what I did in Ask for Unity. Oh. So how was the 2014 game better? 2015 game better? I don't know. It's like there's there's less of it. There, it's like there's less frames in the animation. I don't know how to describe it. There, there's less keyframes in the animation or something. I don't know how to describe that, but because I don't know how that works, but that's that's what I'm as a consumer. That's what I'm seeing. It's like there's literally less frames in the animation sequence or something. I don't know how to describe that, if, or if that's even a real thing. But the snappiness, the jankiness, like, the transitioning here. 
You could see it, and it's not good. So why is Unity better? Came out 10 years ago. Okay, bigger budget, bigger team. I thought it was all about hardware, huh? Guess not. So what's the point of making new consoles, then? It's all a fucking... One big joke. I can't keep playing this, guys. This is bad. You like can't even jump where you want to jump either. Ugh. Hey, you. Hold the moment. <laughs> See there. <laughs> It's like, yeah, it's nitpicking, but when it was better before, and it's not up to that same level of quality, then it's like, okay, why don't we demand more? Why can't they do the same, at least? I don't understand. Because Unity has tons of NPCs on the screen. This has no excuse. Like, th th this is literally... This should have been the best Ask As Creed game ever made. You're talking... Th this is the way to do these games. Smaller map, less blow. Cool. Okay, but in return... You know, on the flip side of that... You you're gonna have to make it more detailed and more immersive and, and, you know, more reactive like they claim. Which isn't the case. It's like they react, but it doesn't feel lived in. It feels like it's a simulation. Like, I don't, I don't, you know, this doesn't feel like a lived in, uh, you know, Baghdad doesn't feel lived in here. But it's supposed to. It's just another theme park game. Literally, I, literally the first game has more NPCs, too. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, well, people don't care. I don't know. If Digital Foundry had the same thoughts, you would all be applauding them. So, I'm done. I'm going to RoboCop. Going to RoboCop. Play. This is probably trash. I mean, if you have to put a demo on for your game to get people to care about it, it's probably an automatic slop fest. But we'll see. It's a smaller team, I'm assuming. Maybe it's good. Doubt it, but we'll see. She don't love being so sad. Robocop. Oh, Lord, looks like Fallout 4. Looks like Fallout 4. Oh, you guys didn't get audio on that. Uh, would you like to auto-detect the settings? Sure. Okay, we got we got some soul here in the menu, I suppose. I don't know how... I've never seen the movie, so I don't... It's over! I don't have any idea. M0, 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 M Super Shattered $5. This has been a world-class GDC presentation, right on the money. You Unity's NPCs and City vs. Starfield Atlantis and Mirage Baghdad is crazy to see. Front-facing baby chick. Front-facing baby chick. Has suddenly reappeared in the Baltic Sea. That's what we're talking about, MO coming through. Oh yeah, it's in the 80s, ain't it? I'm plugging this controller in, bro. What a shit loud as fuck. Cool, I'm a Power Ranger. Good to see you, Murphy. Lieutenant's at the main entrance to the TV station. What? Why does he sound like that? 
I'm sorry, but that voice doesn't match. You can't see your feet. Because they didn't want to animate that. This game runs like shit. What do we got in terms of settings here? Holy shit. Like, I need to have V-Sync on, bro. With the DLSS. Holy. Turn the frame generation on, too. We need all the help. Because this game looks like it's an optimized slop. There we go. It's a little bit better, I guess. Can't go into the door. Ground shaking. Judgment day is here. Oh wow, this runs like absolute dog shit. Well, they got the mood and the vibe down, I suppose. But it is uh, not interactive here. There's no way you can go inside. What the fuck? I thought you could scam people like the Terminator. What is this slop? $169 for a TV? That seems a little high in the 80s. $300 for a TV? In the 80s? Yeah, I don't know about that pricing. It's a movie. It's a museum game. Oh, here we go. It's like the Joker game. <laughs> if it keeps on like this, we're gonna run short of body bags. Yeah, this game runs like shit. I'm gonna give you ten milligrams of diazepam. Might as well just watch the movie. We can't wait any longer. Those trigger happy maniacs have a ton of hostages. But sir. I've got a secret ring. Finally! Oh no. It's like cyberpunk. Oh, this runs like total shit.
おっとThis is why Max Paint 3 sucks. This is the whole game. Like the most repetitive slob. But I mean, this is based off of movies. Isolate the cables. I think I've got something just for that.
He's vlogging in 1980? So, our friends in blue finally decided to join our glamorous show. I'm afraid you're too late for my autograph. Chop. Slime bags detected. Can you go outside? I don't like the fallout for aesthetic. $9.99. There are few who deny that what Thank I do, God, I am come. the best for this my talents really are renowned far and wide when it comes to surprises in the moonlit Murphy. night. I excel without People ever even help. trying. Why don't you go ahead? I'll stay with them. Yeah. Holy shit. Let's get busy.
get the napkins from the cupboard. Sure thing, Mom. What are we having? It's a surprise. Little man, have you washed your hands? Sure, if I like the pattern. We James really looks up to you. Another one of those choppers, like the one that took soot! You hear me? You work so hard, honey. Why don't you take some leave? What? Everyone is dismissed. Lewis, uh. I need your report on the TV station incident. On the double. On it, Sarge. There's no mirrors. God damn it, when will this be fixed? Don't hold your breath. OCP isn't looking to spend Oh, it's in Detroit. What seems to be the problem? <sighs> My damn locker won't open. Can you try? Shit doing in my locker. I wanted you to be safe out there. Yeah, you guys, very fun. There's no way it's the same NP. Talking law enforcement machine. Okay, let's get on with it. Why don't you take a seat for me? I've never seen the movie, so I don't. I don't know. That's a nasty scar. I'd like to see the other guy. I'm oh, you make your own guy? Well, I can already other than that, sir. I I I agree. 
If it was up to me, I'd remove it altogether. What do you think, Doctor? It would save us a lot of hassle. I don't mind the hassle. So what do you say, Officer? Is that possibly something that could be of interest to you? I am not sure. Robo, Reed wants everyone in the briefing room in five. It's about the new guy. <gasps> Excuse me, Dr. <gasps> I need it elsewhere. Uh, but we... You can go outside. Oh, the frame rate. Murphy, I heard you're scheduled for calibration. Step right up and press the button when you're ready. Fifty points is what OCP calls a passing grade. Shouldn't be a problem to you. Not even 50, huh? Maybe they really did mess up in that lab. Why don't you try again? Try to break your job. I'll let the eggheads know that you're good to go. See you in the My FOV is glitched. I found a bug. My FOV is glitched. Hi, Murphy. Bro, I, I can't. Is that you sit your ass down and listen. Holy shit, this is broke. The whole game, the whole game is bro literally the whole game is broken. L literally the whole game is broken. I can't move. I I can't move. I broke the whole game. I can't move. Oh, that's it. I'm done. I'm not starting from the beginning, bro. Well, that was repetitive slop. But I guess if you're a RoboCop fan, that's a day one. I don't know. I'm not a boomer, so... That's real boomer shit. It's like 70s, 80s. Well, the game needs more time in the oven. It just broke on me. I found a big bug. Oh.
Alrighty, well, I, I don't know what else there is left to play or say, so probably wrap it up here. Um, not sure what to tell you guys. Not sure what to tell you guys, so. That's going to do it. Appreciate you guys for tuning in, tagging along, supporting the show. And we will see you later. It's over.